the cool thing about this interchange concept is that it's nothing new for drivers to have to learn. It's two things that they're already familiar with. I'm Ryan Hale. I work for the Missouri Department of Transportation in the Kansas City District, and I'm a traffic management and operations engineer. A diverge about is an interchange type that's been built in the Kansas City area twice in the last few years by MoDOT. It's sort of a combination of a diverging diamond and a roundabout. It's an interchange type where a freeway and an arterial road cross each other, and rather than have a traditional diamond interchange with outer roads further from the ramps, um, this interchange type kind of combines an outer road and a ramp terminal into one intersection using a roundabout. And, and that's an interchange type that you'll see across the United States and elsewhere in the world. But what makes this unique is that on the other side of the interchange uh, is a diverging diamond. And so between the ramp terminals, rather than the, the arterial traveling on the, the right side of the road, it's flipped to the left side like a DDI. But then the roundabout at the diverge about is where the, the directions flip back across. So rather than use the signal like you would at a DDI to flip from one side of the roadway to the other, basically the roundabout um, accomplishes that without an extra signal. The cool thing about this interchange concept is that it's nothing new for drivers to have to learn. It's two things that they're already familiar with. Um, you know, especially here in Missouri, uh, diverging diamonds are relatively common, uh, especially in uh, metro areas. And so people that are familiar with those uh, traffic patterns will be um, you know, very comfortable here because it's the exact same thing. And then uh, at the other side of the interchange, it's a roundabout. So again, it's yield on entry. It's no, la no lane changing uh, in the circulating roadway. Uh, fairly straightforward things where uh, drivers should, should feel comfortable. In the, in the case of both of these diverge about projects, there was going to be a bridge replacement, and that was due to the age of the structure. And so what we do is we look at the existing traffic volumes, future traffic volumes, um, different uh, uses, you know, multimodal users, and we try to plan for the best case scenario in the future, something that's very efficient. So in these cases, um, because we were replacing a bridge anyway, and we had an interchange that didn't have sidewalks or paths, we thought that those, um, those things should be replaced and, uh, and really help the traveling public. But if we would have built other interchange types, it would have cost a lot more money. Um, things like bridges are very expensive, so the more we can minimize bridge area, we can really save as much tax dollar as possible. So one benefit is that um, there's fewer traffic signals, uh, so there's uh, fewer issues with stopping at a red light, um, so travelers will appreciate that. The other um, benefit is that there's less reconstructed roadways. So in a lot of interchanges uh, near an interstate or a diamond interchange, outer roads have to be relocated further from the, the interstate. And so this allows the outer road to stay in place. And so the, the traveling public can get where they want to go faster and safer. Uh, roundabouts are a proven safety countermeasure uh, and have been for, for, for decades now. So. The diverge about is, is nice that it just uses all those same benefits from roundabouts. It's a combination of a diverging diamond interchange and a roundabout, so it incorporates the benefits of both. Um, we save a bunch on having to buy additional right-of-way and relocating out of roads. Um, so the cost of these types of projects goes way down, but we get the same traffic or even better traffic benefits out of this system. Well, one of the main things about TISMO is moving people and goods safely, and that's what what this project is all about. Um, it's a safe interchange. It's very hard to get into a right angle crash, which happens a lot at signalized intersections. It's virtually impossible to get into that situation here, so it's safer. It's also about reliability, um, and to increase the reliability of people's travel, you need to reduce the incidents on the highway. And so TISMO strategies um, improve safety, thereby improving reliability of the system.